What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today we are going to be completing Thompson from Try Hack Me. I already started the machine. It's a free machine that was uh, created by Stuxnet, the user. And as you can see, I already started the machine. First thing that we need to do is let's start a new machine. We know nothing about this machine so far. So we need to come back here, say nmap, and it says v minus sc, one and two to one six eight, no. Then we paste our IP. I'd like it to be verbose a little bit so I can see in real time what's happening here. All right, so it looks like we are scanning. So we see port 8080, 8009 is also there, port 22. So let's start poking around here. Port 8080, what's, what's happening there? 8080. All right, it looks like it's just um, Tomcat. So uh, we have already seen uh, the Tomcat manager vulnerability, and we actually have a version here, 8.55. So I'm thinking we can do the file upload with the WAR file. So for now, let's see what else we have. All right. I'll interrogate that one for now. Maybe I can just use a derb. Let's see if we find anything. I think there is a manager page. If I'm not mistaken. Or we we can yeah here is the manager app. Okay, so it's asking for a username and password. Oh, that's interesting. Tomcat and Tomcat. So we just try you know to see if we get lucky. I don't think it has the default credentials. No, it doesn't. But at least we tried. So that's the manager app. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Yeah, if you click on the manager app here, username is goes to Tomcat, password is goes to secret. Oh, okay. So this web application exposes their password, Tomcat and secret. So let's go back to the manager. I don't think I need go bust anymore. Stop that. Tomcat and secret is this is probably one of the default passwords anyway. All right, we're in. Don't save. Don't save. Okay. So we can deploy a WAR file. And then once we deploy this file, we can um, try to see if we can get a reverse shell. So this is a Linux system. This is getting to be easier, way too easy. All right, so coming here, I'm using MS of Venom to generate a reverse shell in a WAR on port 444 using my IP address, and I'm putting the file in my downloads folder. So that's how it should be. That's your MS of Venom command. If you hit enter, this will generate our file. Then after our file has been uh, generated, we need to come here, click browse. It will be right here. Open. Then deploy. All right, it will be one of these here listed. Here's my shell. All right, after that, launch MSF console uh, using multi handler. Show options. Okay, so right now, <laughs> my shell, I put bin bash. I don't think that works. Okay, so this is MSF, co MSF console, then use multi handler, then um, set payload. Let me see what I set it to. 
set payload to Java, JSP, reverse TCP. All right, and then um, for AO host, set AO host to be turn zero. That's my tunnel. And everything else, I'll leave to the same. For sure, I put bin bash. I hope that work. If that doesn't work, uh, we'll see. Then we can say run. With that there, if we come back here and click on our shell one. We should get a reverse shell here quick. Give it one moment. There we go. ID. Who am I? Okay. So we're in as Tomcat. Now it's just a matter of uh, going in and doing some privilege escalation. So I like to do things like SUID, check for capabilities, check cron job before I use any tools. So with SUIDs, not sure about ping six, I always see there. Uh, let's check some capabilities, then let's look at cron jobs. Those are the th three things that I like to do. All right, we do have. Yeah. Okay. Catch such ETC cron tab. All right, so you see in the user jack, there is a cron job that's running as root. It's called running id.sh. So if you say cat, no, actually, cd such home, such user, no, such, such jack. Yeah, this minus LA. So we see that we have user.txt and we actually have read write to the ID SH, which is nice. And we also can read the test.txt. So this is what I did earlier. I just typed echo cat slash root slash root.txt. I like that to go to this file here, test.txt. Test.txt. Okay. Then I would like all this to go to id.sh. All right. Get id.sh. You notice that uh, it's, it was just running ID to test. Now I just added this one. So after a couple minutes, the cron job will run. And if we cat test.txt, we now have our root flag. And that's how we were able to do privilege escalation. I hope you learned something very easy machine here. But um, I'm hoping to see you again during our normal live streams every Sunday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. But for today, that was it. Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you later.